Hello, Scorpio. This is your reading for February 2021 for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising, new energies, and hopefully positive energies. But if we don't get one, we will work through it, okay? This is for the main energies for Scorpio, five-card spread, and then I'll be doing the pick-a-card reading that will have probably a lot to do with love, okay? Well, that's what I'm looking, aiming for anyway, for the pick-a-card reading at the very end of this. And this could tell us love also, or it could tell us something totally different, you know? So we'll see what's going on for Scorpio. Good things for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see. Incoming energies. Page of Pentacles. Maybe you're waiting on messages of stability or maybe an earth sign. Maybe um, you're unsure of this earth sign. If it is an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But it could be, like I said, messages. You're waiting on messages. Five of Swords. You may head it out with somebody or you may feel defeated in something. Something is really irritating you with the Five of Swords. What is the obstacle? Seven of Pentacles. Trying to overcome failed situations or reinvesting in your life with somewhat. And that's what you're supposed to be working towards okay four of swords you took a break you had to take a break maybe some of you were ill and had to recover or just needed some rest or to get away from people for a while what is coming towards you the use of sword youth of swords it could be um uh, aquarius gemini or libra a younger type uh, most likely a gemini but it doesn't have to i'm sorry for the interruptions in the end you're trying to regain independence you're going to be going for um financial situations you're going to be coming out of i believe taking a break because because if you take too long with a break it may hurt you financially and someone may actually also send you a very quick message okay let's find out what's going on because it could tell us a lot more so how you could turn the situation around i do feel and i'm feeling this um intensely okay that do not take a break too long if you're going to take a break or if you have been it's time to get busy you, i feel like you're going to get a message Maybe, like I said, you went through the ringer with the five of swords. You go, oh, I got to take a break. But it's saying to reinvest and regain your finances. If you do this, you will. Okay. Now, let's see what the clarifying cards could tell us a lot more with that. Plus, like I said, I'll do the pick a card reading. But this is going to tell us a lot more of how you can regain something probably or just a lot more information in general. But it's saying right here, please do not... Take too long of a break, okay? So we got the Five of Swords. I need two cards for that. Why you feel so defeated. What what puts you through the ringer, okay? Three of Fire. Yeah, you're waiting for your ships to come in. Ace of Water, but they were slow coming in the past, okay? And you're trying to overcome failed situations or where money wasn't coming in. Maybe you didn't have a lot of options for finances. Could be all kind of things like that. But I need two cards for the Seven of Pentacles, to see what you should be working on along with it for Scorpio. Ten of water. Yeah, you need to start reinvesting. And then you can get actually like something you really, really like. Okay. So, uh, six of fire. You just, for some reason, you lost motivation. But it says if you work towards something, reinvest and try to regain your success. You can get that ten of water, that ten of, of cups. Because right now you're like kind of like, oh, I'm exhausted. People are driving me crazy. The world is. And I just need something a little bit better. Let's see what's going on. I need two cards for the four swords. Page of Earth. You will be getting messages of stability, okay? Five of water. And you need to... It, it's time to come out of disappointment. You've taken a break. You were disappointed. Now it's saying you will be getting a message that will possibly bring you out of disappointment. Again, this could be messages. It could be from an air sign, okay? You have the swords in the upright. I need two cards, please. For Scorpio. Six of Earth. Yes, yeah, someone's going to make you an offer. Or they're going to contact you and say, well, you need to do this if you want my help, if you want me to help you. That has to do with you be feeling left out and not having money. So someone's going to help you. It could be a someone who is, how can I say it, in the, in the business of helping others. Maybe you can contact someone. Um, if some of you having, like, I'll give you an example, school debts. I'm feeling for some of you, you may be having school debts. Start contacting people because I think you may be able to get some help out of that. Okay? And the same way with work. Anything to do with money right now, it's time for you to reach out because I do believe someone 
we'll help you, but they're going to say, well, you got to come out and take a break. you got to talk to me about this. That's what it's saying. If you do, you will get um, a lot more relief because you need help with get regaining um, money in your life and, and in your independence. Okay, so I need two cards for that, for the Nine of Pentacles. Come out, I'm gonna let it. King of Air. I do you feel like you'll be doing the air, fire type signs? Someone with a lot of energy that will help you restart your life again in some way. Where you feel, yeah, I believe a lot of you will be dealing with the air sign, but I also see energies that are gonna push the issue with you to restart your life so you can regain your independence. Because things are still a little out of control for you. But don't take a break, not too long. Usually when I see someone taking a break, maybe they need it, and that's okay at first, but it's saying don't take too long because someone's gonna want you to make a decision. And once you do, you'll find find out it's a good thing that you don't stay and taking a break right now. Okay, in this. So let's do something from the angel love cards here for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Because this has to do with your finances. It's getting back on your toe, you know, getting back on your feet, you know. But this, I need three cards from the angel love type cards for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising for February 2021. It's up to you, though. But I, I would, I, I know it's really difficult for a lot of people right now. They feel like they lack energy. They lack motivation right now because of the way the world is. But it's telling me not to take a break too long. And then when someone reaches out or you reach out to them, you'll find out life gets a lot better when it comes to your finances and stability is what I'm trying to say. Now you three cards from the Angel Answers for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, and Rising, February 2021. Three cards from the Moonology for February 2021, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. And I do shuffle these in front of you so you know I'm not pre-picking them, you know. that I don't trust cards. That's just me. I'm not saying the readers do that. I just have to see them being shuffled. That's just my thing because I trust no one. <laughs> I really don't. Um, three cards from the uh, Moonology. Oop, that wants to come out. Do what you do need to do to release. That's what it's saying. I'm going to leave that out. That's for all of you right now. We'll see. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, February 2021. Now, you pick what you feel is drawn or what you feel compelled to. That would be strongest energy. But I bring them all together at the end anyway because secondary energies do a lot of times work out. But it's saying here, do what you need to do to release. Could be, you know, feeling defeated, um, past energies that made you feel like there was failed situations and you just wanted to take a break from the world or whatever uh, with the, you know, uncontrollable situations going on around you, but it's saying don't take a break too long. Now, doing this right here, taking this, flirt, start having fun, but it's up to you. Enjoy yourself again. This has to do with um, uh, meeting new people. Uh, enjoying yourself with other people and love again. But it's up to you. You may not feel like it. I do see that four of swords where you want to take a break. Emotions are running high. They are running high. But like I said, don't take a break too long. You pick this section. I'm getting this a lot. There may be a commitment coming up. You, some of you may be going to a wedding. I know a lot of people still aren't going. Um, but not everywhere. Some places are um, having these... Um, get-togethers, but you also could be making a commitment where you are um, going to be with someone for a long time, but you feel like you need recovery, and recovery is okay, but don't take too long, okay? And you feel like a commitment is being tested, and it is, but you will recover from it, okay? You will recover from a past life relationship, so yes, if you're dealing with somebody when it's a love situation or will be, they will be a soulmate, okay? It's a yes card on them, but it's time to release negative situations that's holding you back, um, I do feel like some of you are taking a break from life in general, so your stability, but it's saying to go out and enjoy yourself. You may actually meet a per past life person, you know, a karmic soulmate, <clears throat> if you haven't already, okay? It's up to you, though. I know you're recovering, and I do understand some people really do need to recover, but it's time to um, allow people to help you, okay? It's, it's that time. So, yes, it'll work out. <clears throat> Your emotions are running high. Commitments are being tested. But it's time to release anything negative and 
you know, toxic from the past that may have held you back and made you feel exhausted and go and take up opportunities where someone's coming in and they're going to want to reach out to you. This person's going to want to reach out to you and they're wanting you to take their hand and allow them to help you. Are you going to allow them to help you? It's up to you. But I think it could work out if you did. Okay. So I'm going to let this go. I will upload it and I will be like, like I said this before, but I had to get a new um, website started on a new server type situation. So I couldn't leave what I wanted to say on there, like a, a video so you can see me and, and talk to me what my future plans are for this uh, social media site and others. Okay. And what's been going on in my life. So I'm going to let this go. I talk to you guys later. Bye.